Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Um, I was actually gonna film this with my vlog camera, but the lighting was so much better with my big camera. So let me know if you guys even care. Sometimes I think like, Maybe my big camera, it doesn't feel as personal, but let me know if you guys even care. I wanted to do kind of like a little chit chat, catch up, makeup session. I wanted to show you guys all the new stuff that I'm, I've been loving because I haven't like updated you guys on my everyday makeup products in a while. The Sephora sale is going on and the day that I'm posting this video is the first day that the sale is open to all beauty insiders and you can get 10% off if you're a beauty insider. VIBs get 15% and VIB Rouge get 20%. So I will leave all the dates and all of the percentages down below in the description box. But I wanted to go ahead and get started on my makeup. I'll show you guys some of my my recommendations for the sale then I'm gonna be doing a little try on later because I got in some new outfits that I thought would be perfect for Ramadan like iftar parties or even like a casual eat or something I just thought they were really good and yeah let's go ahead and get into the rest of this video so my first recommendation for the Sephora sale is one of my absolute favorite moisturizers this is the belief the true cream aqua bomb and I'm super excited to be working with them in today's video so thank you so much to belief for sponsoring this portion of today's video I've actually shared with you guys this moisturizer for so many years it's one of my absolute staples and I just want to show you guys the formula real quick it's a really nice gel cream it's super lightweight and just so cooling on the skin that's why it's really nice for spring summer with the warmer months coming up it feels like a drink of water on your skin and it's just amazing underneath makeup this moisturizer is great for oily combo or normal skin so many different skin types can use this moisturizer and you guys it just feels so so good on my skin they also have a gift set this is the moisture bursting eye balm set so it comes with a full-size moisturizing eye balm if you guys haven't tried their eye balm it is just as good as their moisturizer it's still that nice gel cream consistency just a tiny bit thicker so it really gives that nice hydration under the eyes it actually lasts for 26 hours and it's perfect for underneath makeup as well the gift set also comes with the toner, the moisturizing balm, and the cleanser. This set is $48 with a value of $64, and you can get up to 20% off in the Sephora sale. So I would highly recommend picking this one up. And the Aqua Balm moisturizer is $38, so it's the perfect time to pick it up during the Sephora sale. I promise you guys, you will be hooked as soon as you try it. And if you already use this moisturizer, I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments because I know so many of you guys will love this one as well. I will have these linked below. I'm gonna use the Ilia Skin Tint today, and I use this usually on days where I don't need as much coverage, even though this does give pretty good coverage. It's like medium to buildable coverage, I feel like for me. It's just really nice and glowy. It has SPF 40 and skincare benefits. So I feel like I've just kind of replaced my tinted moisturizer that I was using before with this one because I like the coverage. Uh, it does kind of have a little bit of a weird scent kind of weirded me out when i first started using it but now i don't even like really notice it anymore um and then this brush is the artiste brush that i don't think they sell at sephora but and it's a little pricey but it's so good i just love it so much so i thought we could do a little like life update or like just catch up in today's video because sometimes i don't get to just like sit and chat um i thought we could start first with maybe we'll do a house update because i haven't posted a house series video in a few weeks but we're actually filming for that this week and we just had a meeting la last week with our builder and he told us basically that since the prices are going up on everything we need to like get a move on with ordering all of our materials and finishes and all that stuff so he was like within the next month we need to have everything like picked out and ordered and i was like oh so i'm gonna take you guys with me this week we are gonna go um look at slabs for our countertops and backsplash and all that kind of stuff which is so exciting i feel like i've always seen people like go to like the slab yards and they look at like these huge pieces of marble and it just looks so beautiful but we're, we're actually not going to be using marble in our house just because it's a little bit expensive hopefully i won't fall in love with any marble anyways i'm super excited to film for that and like have you guys help me pick stuff out because that's like super exciting this concealer i've been using it for the past i think two months it's the kosas 
uh, Revealer Concealer, and I'm in the shade 03W, and it is beautiful, and I love that it's clean. I'm, like, trying to incorporate a lot more clean beauty into my routine. I feel like I've mentioned this so much on Instagram, but not sure if I've talked to you guys about that. This is a clean brand, and their concealer is beautiful. So right now, at the new house, they are finishing up the foundation the foundation as you guys might know has just taken so so long but they're about to start pouring the slab which is when they can start framing so we're hope hoping to start framing in the next few weeks which will be super exciting because then we can actually like walk through um the rooms and like see i don't know it'll just be so much more real i feel like once they start framing because right now they're just doing so much dirt work and it's just like boring stuff honestly <laughs> Set. I'm using the Fenty Pro Filter Powder. This is a good, like an oldie but a goodie for me. And I also love the It Cosmetics Translucent Powder. Both of these are good. I honestly just ran out of my It Cosmetics one. Um, I believe the It Cosmetics one does not have talc. I'm not sure about the Fenty one though, honestly. Okay, next I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Bronzer in Baked. It is the most beautiful cream bronzer. I am just so obsessed with this. How has y'all's Ramadan been so far? Has it been easy fasting? Has it been hard? Are you guys like okay mentally? Like how is everyone doing? Like I told you guys in a previous video, this is my first year fasting as a mom with like chasing around a little baby honestly i have only okay like i fasted the first couple of days and then it's my time of the month now so i'm on my break so <laughs> i haven't really gotten the full experience but the first couple of days were not that bad i feel like i've just been keeping myself busy like whenever i'm busy is when it's easier for, for me to fast i remember like uh, especially whenever i was like a nurse it was always easier for, for me to fast on the days that i had my 12 hour shift because i was just never thinking about food so let me know if you guys are the same way. Next up is this gorgeous, gorgeous blush by the brand called Say. This is the Dew Blush in the shade Rosy. So I normally don't like things that are too rosy. I like a little bit of peach in there, and I think this does have a little bit of peach, and that's why I like it. Um, and then I saw Huda Beauty post this video where you put your blush, like we've been putting our blush in the wrong spot, apparently. I've been putting it more towards the apples of my cheeks, and she said if you put it up kind of like where your temples are, it lifts your face. So we're gonna try that today. Now I wanted to do a little toddler update because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys about Elena. I'm still trying to find that balance of like how much I share her in my videos. Like I still want her in them because I love her so much and she's such a big part of my life, but I just don't want her taking over my channel and it being like a mommy toddler channel. You know what I mean? I haven't really gotten the chance to like talk to you guys about her very much and she's just at the cutest stage right now, you guys. She is 20 months. She has just like exploded recently with vocabulary. A couple months ago, I was getting like a little bit worried, like should she be talking more? Even though like whenever I Googled it, it said like she was on track, but like I knew that she was so smart like she would point to things whenever I would ask her where they are in the books and I knew she knew so much more than she could say so I was like when is she gonna start talking and she is so cute she tries to say so many things now I think she's just getting a lot more confident with like saying things and oh she started saying um, people's names like my dad we call we call him Sido for grandpa in Arabic and now she calls him Dido Dido <laughs> it's so cute and he is just over the moon like you guys know he's obsessed with Elena and the fact that she can say his name now he just melts it he's just in grandpa heaven and then she says like all her animal sounds we even learned that she knows a lot of letters because we've been letting her watch Miss Rachel on YouTube which has taught her so much we recently learned that she actually does know like several letters and she knows how to say them and everything it's just the cutest funnest stage ever so if you guys have a baby just know that it literally just keeps getting better and better like the older they get she's still sleeping in our room we actually have like a mini crib in there um, that she's about to grow out of to be honest so i think i'm gonna have to figure out something in the next few months probably by the time she's two i actually told omar that i was ready to try to start moving her into her room now even though we moved the crib out and 
we had this whole thing. We changed her room into a playroom, and then after we did that, I was like, oh wait, maybe we should move her back into her room. But Omar said, no, he wanted to keep her in our room and I was like, okay, because we had like the biggest, not the biggest argument, but we were just really back and forth with each other about how I wanted her in our room and I didn't want to sleep train her and all that. And Omar was just a lot more like, let's try, let's like see if we can put her in her room and it in her room because he couldn't get any sleep. Honestly, he, she was waking up so many times a night when I was breastfeeding her, he was sleeping on the couch because he couldn't sleep in there. Now that she's sleeping through the night after I weaned her, He's like, no, I want her in our room because it's just nice having her close. And I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> You're right, I love having her there too. So she's still in our room and she's still sleeping through the night, except for like here and there, she'll wake up randomly in the middle of the night. I feel like that's normal. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys what I was using, but these are the iconic London drops. They're just so, so pretty and they're a little bit pricey, honestly. So if you guys are interested, I would definitely pick it up during the sale as well. I get the shade Original. Yes. Hold on, I'm just gonna check your settings. Check my settings. What's wrong with my settings? No, it looks good. I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. My manager here. I'm gonna powder a little bit because I feel like I realized that I am maybe making my face a little too dewy sometimes. I'm a little greasy looking. Her brows, nothing has changed and I'm still using, actually the gel has changed, my brow gel, but I'm still using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the shade Toe. Wait, where are you? Am I out? Oh no, I'm not. Okay, I need to stock up on so many things from this sale, you guys. If you guys are in need of a new brow gel, look no further because I found the most amazing one by Kosas. It's a clean beauty brand. It's just a really nice, like small brush that really just gets every hair, presses it down, and I feel like it just looks laminated. It's so good. Elena, is. this is like one of her favorite toys that I have to get away from her every time. So she's bent the brush. So it doesn't usually look like that. <laughs> mascara I'm just using the same one that I always use which is L'Oreal telescopic I thought I would just give you guys a little mental health update I'm having a good day today but my problem is that basically I get so in my head about negativity online I will read like one comment and it will just really affect me like so much and I've always been like this and I've told you guys about this problem of mine. Recently, Omar and I were talking about this because he's so good at like helping me through my feelings. So he was basically telling me that Lena, like I have nothing else to offer you. Like you need help. Like you need someone else to talk to, like a professional. And I was like, I have used BetterHelp in the past. This is not sponsored by BetterHelp. I know that they have sponsored me in the past. I really liked them and I only did like a few sessions just to like try out the service. And I don't know why I wasn't like consistent with it because I guess it's, I'm not consistent with it because like I have my good days and bad days and it's not like I always, Feel that way last weekend I was like you know what I have to do something like I have to be better mentally for my husband because he can't be my therapist every time this happens I need like tools in order to like get through this so I started talking to a, a new therapist this time with better help and she's actually a faith-based counselor and she's actually not Muslim but and I told her that I was Muslim but she was actually like so okay with that and she was like you know what we may not be the exact same faith but we have the exact same you know morals and values and she has been so helpful in just showing me that i don't need to be living my life trying to please other imperfect human beings and i need to live my life trying to please god you just need that reminder sometimes even though i knew that i just sometimes need to hear it so if any of you guys needed that reminder as well i wanted to give it to you if you guys are struggling mentally for any reason never have shame in seeking therapy it is seriously so life-changing i also have been you know with along with like those feelings of just feeling like worthless whenever i like hear people saying bad things about me and just feeling that like that i get this anxiety she actually gave me a really good tip on how to manage anxiety so i wanted to give it to you guys in case any of you guys struggle with that as well she basically told me it is the five four three two one if you're having an anxious moment you think of five things you can see 
four things you can feel, three things you can hear, and two things that you can smell, and one thing you can taste. I'll make sure to like write the proper things on screen for y'all just in case I was wrong. She said that for the taste one, you it would, it would be nice to like have like a peppermint or something just to like have on hand whenever you're having these anxiety episodes. But you guys, I've tried it and it seriously brings you right into the present moment. And it's so, so powerful and so amazing. Like I had to share it with you guys in case any of you guys may need that little tool. Because anxiety is really all about either thinking about the past, I guess, or thinking about the future. You're not in the present moment. So to bring you back into the present is so powerful in helping through those emotions. So I wanted to give you guys that little tip. For lips, I'm using the Char Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner. This is such a staple for me. And then I've just really been into the Soft Matte Lip Creams by NYX, and this one is in the color London. It's so pretty, it's just a really good nude. Then, you guys, if you're looking for a really good lip gloss, I have been obsessed with the Iconic London Lip Oil for the past, I think, I feel like two years. It is hands down my favorite. It's so glossy looking without being sticky at all and it's just a really good one to go over any lipstick it just looks like an oil it's so pretty i know that it's a lip oil but it's just so good that is the completed makeup look with all the updated products that i've been loving i'll have everything linked down below if you guys are interested in shopping especially during the sephora sale make sure that you guys do not miss the opportunity for that discount it's also a really good time to pick up need gifts for people in your life they have some really good gift sets i'll have all my recs linked down below i have a bunch of really good outfits that i wanted to share with you guys so let's go ahead and do the little try on haul every single item that i'm actually going to show you guys is from pretty lavish i placed a huge order from them um, last week and I just thought they had so many good pieces for Ramadan. I thought this particular set that does come in another color that I'll show you guys next but I thought it would be perfect for like Ramadan get-togethers. It's like dressy with the satin but it's not too dressy because I feel like you can, I don't know, I feel like it's not too too dressy. You could definitely um, dress this down. I'm just wearing this with some white sandals. I'm going to be wearing these so much i wore them so much last year they're by mark fisher and i will link them down below because they are so cute i just love like the cut of it the sleeves are really flattering i just um tucked one side in i thought that was really cute but you can also just like leave it down it's really long so it does cover up your bottom and the back i just think this is such a cute look dressing up to go have dinner or if you are even wanting to do like a ca more casual Eid look, I think this is so cute. Here it is in chocolate brown. I cannot tell you how good the material is and I just think it is so flattering. I'm wearing a small in both the top and the bottom and it's just so good. I left this one out. You could tuck it all the way in or you could leave it open and have like an undershirt underneath. I think that also would be so so cute the next piece i got is this satin tunic slash mini mini dress that's like a cowl neck i love this i actually got one last year but i don't know what happened to it i think my mom might have it so i bought it again because they brought it back i really hope it's still available for you guys because this is such a staple piece they have that cowl neck dress that i just showed you in a blouse version and it is so so beautiful um it's a little bit more of like a lighter white i guess than the dress you guys are going to get anything from this haul let it be the pants they are so flattering i cannot tell like speak more highly of these pants i will say they do run big because i got my normal size small um i got smalls in basically everything that i ordered and the pants are too big around my waist so i did have to pin them so i'll probably get them altered but they are so flattering with the wide cuffs and they are not see-through at all and they're white pants which are very hard to find so highly recommend the pants i just think this is such an elegant look wanted to quickly show you guys the blazer that matches the pants i just feel like these are both really versatile pieces because you can pair the blazer with jeans or like other different trousers and then the trousers you can wear with different blouses and things and even different blazers so i thought these were both really stable pieces here's the last outfit same pants just a different color and then here's that white blazer again i just really love the cut of it it's like a oversized 
fit. I just love everything that I got in this haul, so I will have everything linked down below. Now I'm all dressed and ready to go to an iftar party. I really wish I had somewhere to go today. Let me know if you guys are getting back into like the normal socializing during Ramadan. We usually have like a big iftar party at my parents' house every year, but we haven't done it for the past two years and I miss it so much. Let me know if you guys are getting back into that kind of stuff this year. Thanks again to Believe for sponsoring this video. I'll have the Aqua Bomb moisturizer and the moisturizing eye balm set linked down below. Don't forget to pick your, up your favorite Believe products during the Sephora sale. I'll also have all my favorite makeup products that I shared earlier linked down below. I love you guys and I will see y'all in my next video.